Hi everyone, welcome to a new session of Principles of Management. My name is Amala Meri Kays, Assistant Professor, Department of Retail Management, St. Albert's College, Autonomous Ernakura. Today I am going to take the topic, uh, Private Company versus Public Company. It is a difference between the public and private company. So it is a joint stock company and uh, uh, it is a, uh, one of the type of business. We have five types of business that is a sole proprietorship, uh, partnership, joint stock company, joint Hindu family and uh, a corporate society. So this is a one of the uh, one of the type of business. So in this slide we uh, discuss about what is joint stock company and what are the salient features of joint stock company and the definition of a private company, definition of public company and the difference between public versus private company. Joint stock company. Joint stock company is a company which is formed and registered under the Companies Act or existing Companies Act and a joint stock company is an association of uh, many persons who invest, uh, who contribute the money or money worth to a common stock and employ it for a common purpose. And next slide is talks about the selling features of joint stock company. And the first feature is separate legal entity. Because the company is an artificial person, so uh, the company is separated from the shareholders. And next is perpetuality. That is no end. The company will be uh, have no end. It is continue forever. Next is limited liability. Limited liability means the liability is limited to uh, its uh, uh, shareholders investment amount, not beyond that. Next is number of members. In case of uh, uh, private limited company, the minimum number of member is 2 and the maximum number of member is uh, 50. In the case of public limited company, the minimum number of member is uh, 7 and maximum number is unlimited. And Another thing is uh, separation of ownership from the management. In the case of a uh, company, uh, the management uh, and the ownership is, is uh, separated. That is um, ownership, uh, the, the um, shareholders and the management is different. Next is transferability of shares. Uh, in, this, uh, in, in the case of a uh, public limited company, shares can be easily transferred. Shares can be easily buy and sell. But in the case of a private limited company, there is some restrictions is there. And financial resources. In case of public limited company, the, uh, the company can invite the, uh, invite the amount investment from the public. So these are the salient features of joint stock company. Next, uh, the slide is talks about what is a private limited company. So private limited company is a joint stock company which is uh, incorporated under the Companies Act or the or the previous or any other previous act and the maximum number of members is 50 the minimum number of member, uh, members is uh, 2 and in the case of transfer, transferability of shares shares um, uh, does not have uh, any right to uh, or does not uh, easily uh, buy and sell and in the case of uh, uh, inviting the public there is a, some a restriction for inviting the uh, public fund and another thing is, in case of private limited company, the name uh, the name of the company is end with the private limited. For example, the name of the company is ABC and the company name is comes ABC private limited. The next slide is public limited company. Public limited company is formed and registered under its companies act uh, and or any other uh, uh, any other existing companies act. Okay, and. Uh, in the case of uh, number of members, in public limited company, the minimum number of member is 7 and the maximum number of member is unlimited. In the case of transferability of shares, it is easily transferable. That is, uh, the shareholders can easily buy and sell their shares. In the case of inviting the investment from the public, the company can easily invite the uh, shares from the uh, public through prospectors. And the name of the company is, for example, the name of the company is ABC. The, um, the name is comes ABC Public Limited Company. So this is all about a uh, public company. And this slide is talks about the private uh, difference between private company and public company. So there are some factors is differentiate the private versus uh, public company. And first factor is minimum paid up capital. In case of private uh, private company, the minimum paid up capital is one lakh. In case of public company, the minimum paid up capital is five lakh. And next factor is minimum number of members. 
in case of uh, yeah, private company minimum number of members is 2 and in case of public company the minimum number of members is 7 and maximum number of members another factor so in case of private company the maximum number of uh, member is 50 and uh, public company the maximum number is uh, unlimited okay and next factor is transferability of shares uh, in case of private company uh, complete restriction is there there is uh, no option for transfer the shares uh, sh shares and in case of public company there is no restriction easily transfer the shares that is easily uh, anyone can easily buy and sell the shares and uh, in the case uh, another factor is issues issues of prospectus prospectus is actually it is an invitation to the public for uh, making investment right so uh, in the case of private company it is prohibited and in the case of public company uh, it is uh, free to uh, free to issue the prospectus and uh, uh, invite the investment. The next one is uh, uh, number of directors. In the case of public uh, private limited company, number of uh, directors at least two directors is needed. And in the case of public company, it is at least three directors is needed. Next commencement of business. Uh, in case of private company. Uh, immediately it is commenced immediately after the incorporation the case of a uh, public company uh, it is commenced uh, only after getting the certificates of commence incorporation and the next factor is statutory meeting statutory meeting is uh, um, in case of a public company it is an obligation to conduct a statutory meeting but in the case of public company it is there is no obligation to conduct statutory meeting so these are the factors and um, these are the uh, factors to differentiate the public versus private company. I hope everyone is understand about the uh, differentiation between private and public company. Thank you.